Hey guys, I'm in the Raz kitchen and I'm about to make some soup. Um, yeah, my lighting is giving me problems. So I need to be here so it stays on. So I, I just peeled some some uh, green bananas. There you go. Green bananas. Got some yam over here. See? Nice piece of yam. Puna yam from Africa. I got some pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, some scallion. Or spring spring onions. And I got some really nice uh, champagne mushrooms. Yeah. Champagne mushrooms fresh. Check it out. Check it out. Can you see them? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so that's what's going in the soup. And my favorite, my favorite, um, my favorite uh, peas, or beans, but we call it peas, of course. Gungu. I've already cooked it. It's pre-cooked. Gungu, and um, you can't see them. Gungu, and um, let me see if I can show it to you. Gungu, and... Um, uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, black turtle beans. Black turtle beans, they're like amazing. Amazing, I'm trying to find a, a thing that I can show you. Um, but yeah, they need to be, uh, she said they needed to be pre-cooked because they're very hard to cook. Can't find the thing I'm looking for. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so I, I already pre-cooked them. So that now they can just um get in the lights properly. So you see look uh, gungu gungu and black turtle bean. Black turtle bean is really really good for lowering you know what? Lowering sugar. Yeah. Black turtle bean uh, beans they're so nice that I eat them just by themselves. They're so tasty. Yeah, I eat them by themselves. So I'm gonna have to put some more water in that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make some soup, man. I've been dreaming about that from the other day. But I had to go buy, had to go buy the, excuse the noise. I had to go buy the pumpkin. So I did that today. And uh, yeah, check out the pot. I got a brand new pot for soup. But we didn't have a soup pot. But this is a brand new soup pot. I think it's a 12 liter stainless steel. Yes. And we're gonna make some magic now. I got my ginger over here. Yeah, and a lot of things to put in, so let's get cracking, man. This is the Puna yam. Yeah. I don't know how much of the preparation I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, this yam is really easy, it's soft, easy to cook, easy to peel. See, it's nice and... I always cut the ends off both sides to make sure that it's, uh, it hasn't got anything rotting inside because sometimes they look good on the outside and you come home and you, and you start to peel and you cut and it's not good inside. So a good way to check it is to cut, like you see that? It's not so bad though. But when you have it going right through the middle, mmm... No good. But sometimes they pick them young. Sometimes they get damaged on the way, you know, because they have to ship them in from overseas. So sometimes, not most, not often, but once in a while you might get a bad piece. So I always get them to cut both sides just to check it. Yeah. And what's uh, one important thing for you guys when you're cooking? You need to have good knives, you know. Anybody that cooks will tell that, oh, it's like zip, or oh, it needs to motion to keep it on. Um, yeah, if it's um, if you don't have good knives, me especially, if I don't have a good sharp knife like a razor, you know, I don't cook my food in it because yeah, you need to have good. My friend told me that who is a big chef, this friend of mine in Brazil he said man if you're gonna cook you need good utensils otherwise 
it's no point. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna slice this up now. Let's rinse it off under the tap and then slice him up in the pot. Slice him up and put him in the pot, man. Oh, that's some wicked soup this thing I'm gonna make, you know? I tell you. I'm out of water already, rest. Hey, you know that, yum? You see, nice and pretty, look. Mm. Mm. Mama Africa. I don't know who's calling me now, but it's the wrong time, you know? The wrong time, you know, car bridging. Because man busy. Man busy in the food. You see me? Oh. Mm. 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 I don't know who you. What are you name? <laughs> but you have to go with the rest of I may have some sweet potato too, you know, lad. Mm. So anybody who want to come have soup can come, you know, because it's a big pot. It's a big pot. Yeah, I'm ready. This pumpkin, you know. I usually cook, cook the pumpkin, you know, with the skin, you know, but... See, this side is not bad. This part, I don't like this part at all. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I might peel him. But you know, this, the, the skin of the best part of the um, the nutrients you know, in this food. I just bought this pumpkin fresh a couple of hours ago, you know. Yeah. I will show you guys that too because I have it on the, um, I did film when I went there to the supermarket. Then I have everything. Bread food, huh? I don't think they're in Yeah. So, anyway, let's peel them. Yeah. yeah. But I usually like to cook, with, cook the skin. I'm not going to peel it too deep, though. Just lightly. So, we can get some of the goodness, you know? Yeah, man. I haven't made a pumpkin soup so for quite a while. So. I'm really excited to make this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oop, uh, if I wash myself with this knife, I know because it's sharp like a razor. <laughs> You've been trying to cut me for a couple of years. You know what I mean? But I've been escaping it so far because I'm careful. But I don't talk too soon. This is a Jamie Oliver knife, you know that man the English chef. I bought some a set of pots of his stainless steel pots and I got the knife as a like a thing that came with the pots. But thank you, Mr. Oliver. You see, when you come to Ital Food or Jamie Oliver, you can't come, come tell the rest of my nut, you know? Oh. Come here, say you were jerking rice. As the brother went mad and said, ooh. But this man, how can you jerk rice? <laughs> how can you jerk rice? Yeah, no, I laugh, yeah, man. Everything them see we do, them try to invent. Come reinvent it like a for them thing. And come up with some foolishness, you know? Boy, jerk rice. I tell you, people are not easy. But, you know, everybody knows who are, who are the originators. You see me? This light, this light is annoying me, man. You know? It needs to stay on. The man say I'm going to jerk up rice, rest You know, Wimsy rice. I'm jerk on a pork, the man I'm jerk on chicken and, and thing. I'm going to come try about it, I'm going to jerk rice. 
but you know, I don't think he went too far. I don't think he went anywhere at all. Let's see. Okay, get this middle there out. I don't think good for you to, you know. Pumpkin seed. Actually, I have some already too. We're going on this part here. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Super cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm showing you guys because it's boring. But, um, yeah. Just wanted to show you the, some of the ingredients. Yeah. I didn't have time today to prepare it all and then just chuck it in the pot. That's usually what I do. And I'm doing these things, I get it all ready or most of it and then just put it in the pot and put them to cook you know but anyway show you a bit of the process guys and that's how easy you know you know tough pumpkin you know, you know what i mean but it's worth it man it is worth it resting It's a real pumpkin. They have some pumpkins they call squash. I don't really like them. Because they're stringy. So I don't really like them too much. They use them at... Um, what is the time of the year where they use them? Thanksgiving, I think, coming up. Or gone, I never know. Coming up for all these holiday things where they, they make um, things with them and put candles in them. And, and they eat them also, but yeah, I don't like them. Because usually they are stringy. So they like nothing with stringy resting. You see me? Yeah, like nice solid, you know, nice solid things like this. Let's just rinse these off. Chop them up and throw them in the pot. Yeah. Put the rest of this pumpkin in there because you know, the pumpkin thing is leaving it. See the nice sharp, yeah. Uh, play play a knife, you know. Take two years to cut things. You need to be cutting right away, man. You see me? Sharp like a razor. Yeah. Yeah, well, some cabbage going on this soup, you know. A soup you have a rich. Mm. Give you stamina. You know what I mean, so guys? Just give you some stamina, you know. Can't work all night. Hoi! If I laugh, I pop up. You hear me? If I laugh, I pop up. Yeah, man. And them say, well, you can take it from the yard, but they can't take the yard out of you, you know? Yeah. You don't know, come here with me, a youth. I don't know, I say, I do make a little picnic. But, yeah, man. I lose my culture, you know? Oh. It's only a joker. Losing culture. And him tongue. You see me? What do you mean? I mean, meet one, one, one boy, a Japan one time, you know, and we were out there talking, a bunch of yard man in the musician and thing, and then one place called Repongi, you know, in Japan, in Tokyo. And some American soldier come on there, and, and this one, and a couple of them were Jamaican and, and thing. But one of the brothers now, it sound like a robber an American, you know. Man, it's a going away, you know. And twanging, you know. So, <laughs> so my brethren, Isabel said to him, say, start to ask everybody, where do you come from? This man said, I come from here, I come from this one, where, where, where. So he said to this guy, say, where you come from? He said, Jamaica. He said, Jamaica? How you sound so? 
אני אסור להם לג'מייקה, אני אסור להם לאמריקן מן. הם יסיימו לנגד יהיה אמריקה. זה לא היה 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 לנגד יהיה אמריקה. You say, Papa, how you manage that? <laughs> how you manage to lose your accent, Bridgerin? You say, no, man, you can't lose your accent, man. You, you lose it purposely, Bridgerin. What do you mean you, you lose it? I mean, you know, you can speak with an accent from another country or a language from another country. You hear me do it all the time, you know? Because you want to be understood properly. by the native of the place you're in. You know, so it makes sense if you're in England and you've got a road. You can't even do it in England now because most English people speak Patois, to be honest with you. Especially the younger one. But it makes sense if you go to a road now and go and talk Patois to people who are not from Jamaica. But when you go to talk to a Jamaican now, why would you go and start twanging? Like you're not from the yard, you know what I say? No, man, that not make it, you know? As my brethren would say, that not make it family. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Can't lose the culture, Asta. Yeah. Because everybody want to go to Jamaica, and everybody want to turn Jamaica, and everybody want to talk Patwa. You know, see, Patwa is a language official. Oh, a serious thing. Yeah, man, I feel we think that, you know. And it's sweet. So, at every opportunity when we get a that me the pan, you know. You see, all the whole African now talk part when I sing, I sing part when I can and sing in the seat. Yeah, man. Part when I can't swing, you know. The real deal. Yeah, man. Mas também fala português. Sim. É. Também fala português, espanhol. Um pouco de francês. É assim mesmo. É, mano. Dura fala português. É uma linguagem linda. Igual a país. Brasil é lindo demais. Que não, nunca fui lá. Tem que ir lá, pô. E conheço o Brasil. Igual a Jamaica. É, eles também tocam reggae bem pra caramba. Ah, é, mano. Reggae é a nacional music adaptada pelas pessoas. Especialmente de Salvador, por ano. Uau! Mas o que é o Brasil que é reggae, mano? Eu amo isso. 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 É. Ok. Então, o pumpkin é tudo bem. Não é tão bom, é isso? All right, I'm gonna chop that up, rinse it off, chop it up, chuck it in the pot, add some water, and start cooking it, you know? Mm hmm Got scoop of it on tonight. Mm hmm Yeah, man. The soup I go get, get up and run. Run away, run away. Good night, Lord. Yeah, I've never had gungu peas and black turtle beans together, but you know, I love to do them things. Because them two, the two of them taste good. Gungu is my favorite beans still. And I love the black turtle beans. And especially that they're good for you. Uh, make it worse, but it's really nice, guys. It's really nice. I don't know if uh, you can get it everywhere. I get it from Amazon Organic. Black turtle beans, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of these health food stores that sell natural ingredients will have it. Okay. Um, rinse off my hand. And add some more water to this and start this fire. At least on a low down. So I don't want it to cook too much before I start putting other things in. 
So okay guys, so got a couple of carrots, got these champagne mushrooms, scallion, one onion, I got uh, sweet potatoes here, there, got a couple of sweet potatoes, should I put them in there? No, actually I'm not going to put them in there. I changed my mind because I got yam and I got green banana. I like I like to do those in the air fryer and eat them. You know, yeah, I do them in the skin in the air fryer in here. If you haven't got an air fryer, you need to go and get one. Ladies, tell your husband, we need an air fryer, baby. And husbands, tell your wives. <laughs> You need to get an air fryer, man. Yeah. Hey, guys, do you know an easy way to, to anybody knows an easy way to peel onions? Please let me know in, in the um, in the comments if you've got an easy way to peel. Because sometimes some of them peel easy and sometimes they're a pain in the butt. And I don't want to have to cut off you know, like a, a big part of the onion or, or peel a big part of the, of the onion off to get it off. You know, I just want to take the skin off and not a lot of the onion goes to waste. So if you guys know of a... And I, I like to always do onion rings, so I don't want to cut it, cut it in half and all these things. I don't like... I never do that really. I don't know why. I just always like to make like rings with my onions I've been doing that from the day one and I uh, always do it yeah but I know there must be an easier way I found an easy way to peel gar to peel the garlic where I just crush them a little bit and sometimes they don't even, they even come out on their own you don't have to even take the skin off once you crush them yo light what do I deal with Okay, let me mash it up and show you out. <laughs> you know, it depends on this unhealthy business. You need to come on and stay on, man. I kind of think that I just got those, these lights, because the lighting in this kitchen is awful. Are you listening, landlord? <laughs> it's not very good. It's all like, I don't know, behind you somehow. You know, and I really check for the lighter. Yeah. So I got these ones. These are the only ones I saw. Um, to put under the counter. But I know they have uh, ones you can switch on and off by electric. This one is like chargeable. So I just got it at the minute. But yeah, I might. I'm looking for the ones that you switch on and off. Because they are probably actually brighter and and better. And this guy is going on and off. I'm not really happy about that. Come on, Mr. Onion, come on. Okay, guys, I soon will stop this and let you guys not get too bored with me. But I don't want to stop. <laughs> you know, when I keep when I get going. I just want to keep going, but I'll turn off. I'll stop in a minute and then come back when things are things are happening. Okay, that should be good now. Let's go off already. Yeah, yeah, let me swirl this in the water and then I will leave you guys. You've seen all the ingredients, so now you just need to see the result in it and if it tastes good. Uh, but I know so it must taste good. It must. So, yeah, always. It's a good fly come from. I'm gonna have a fruit fly. I always cut my onions like that. Rings. I don't know why. I was always fascinated with onion rings. As a youth, so maybe that's why. But I always cut my onions like this. And I like it. Yeah. 
you know, like, chop up, chop up, and then, like, yeah, go feed baby and all them things, you know what I'm saying? And I'll check for that. Yeah, man. Mm -mm. Yeah. Ready to go. Okay, guys, let me rinse my hand again. Just serious rinsing thing, the bandits, you know? Keep it clean. Some banana being under my nail there, see? Peeling green bananas, I must say, is not much fun. Maybe uh, I need to find another way. All right. So, guys, just going to show you a little bit in the pot. Yeah. Look. Look in the pot, man. So, I'm going to uh, put some uh, boiling water in there. With the onions and uh, yeah start cooking man so I'm gonna get back to, uh, to you guys in a little bit because I don't want you to get bored and run, and run away okay all right let's you guys I actually found some more ingredients to put in the soup got some organic broccoli there and uh, cabbage and two peppers plus the carrots so they have to go in some scallion but um, you see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see in the pot. You see, champagne mushroom on top. It's gonna be bubbling soon, man. Uh, yeah. So um, I'm gonna come back when I put these things in and it's cooking a little bit because soon, yeah, I'm gonna be eating. So I'll definitely come back. All right, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs> 